My name is Dr. John Frew, and I am a consultant dermatologist at Liverpool Hospital in Sydney, Australia. Firstly, why did we perform this study? An important point to address is that the pathogenesis of hydrodenitis is poorly understood. The NOTCH and PI3K AKT paradigm has only been definitively proven in isolated familial cases of HS. There is currently no single pathogenic hypothesis which encompasses and explains all cases of hydrodenitis. The disease itself has a large amount of variation in clinical manifestations and a large amount of variation within associated comorbidities. As genetic testing, both on the scale of individual genes as well as whole exome and whole genome sequencing becomes more available through accessibility and financial affordability, we find that we are presented with substantial amounts of data with variable application of appropriate guidelines in order to ascertain good interpretation of this data. We understand that not all patients with HS have mutations within the notch or gamma secretase pathways, and there is a suggestion that HS is variable both from a phenotypical point of view as well as from a genetic perspective. How did we perform this study? Our systematic review was registered with the Prospero and conducted in line with the PRISMA statement. Eligibility criteria included published cases, which included patients with HS, identified sequence variants or protein or functional studies, and there were no restrictions on age, gender, ethnicity, or language. In terms of our main results, 41 individual sequence variants were identified including genes coding nicastrin, presenilin, PEN2, and proline serine threonine phosphatase interacting protein 1. The individual sequence variants and the protein domains affected are illustrated here. All of the identified variants in nicastrin and presenilin 1 involved the luminal component of their respective proteins. In terms of the pathogenicity of variants, 17 were identified as of uncertain significance and one benign. 23 variants were assessed as likely pathogenic. The benign variant was classified due to the high rate of this variant within the European population, 12.4%. However, this may still be a candidate for a polygenic risk allele in further polygenic studies. Gamma secretase dysregulation in hydrodenitis has been suggested to result in downregulation of canonical notch signaling pathways. This is proposed to be the major pathogenic mechanism of hydrodenitis. Functional protein studies have reduced varying results regarding the impact of gamma secretase variants upon notch signaling in HS. This has led to contention regarding the pathogenicity of variants without downregulated notch signaling. Disparate effects upon notch signaling have been observed in PSEN1 sequence variants depending upon the location of the sequence variants and resulted truncation of the protein. We have identified that not all pathogenic sequence variants downregulate notch signaling in HS. It is conceivable, therefore, that a proportion of catches of HS may be mediated by a dysregulation of gamma secretase complex mediated cleavage of ligands other than notch. This would imply that lack of abnormal notch intracellular domain signaling in the setting of an otherwise likely pathogenic sequence variant does not exclude the variant from being potentially pathogenic within hydrodenitis. Multiple other genes may contribute to HS in the form of polygenic risk alleles. The concept of cases of sporadic hydradenitis being a complex polygenic disorder has not been explored to date and is worthy of further attention given the known associations of disease-altering variants in familial hydradenitis.